What's good you guys? Welcome back Kawaii gang. Welcome to the mother freaking channel. We're going to be doing some spooky season nails. These are the design that I did today in this video. I tried to go for this like monster eyeball but a little bit of glam and bling in there. And this video is sponsored by Beatles. A lot of you guys love Beatles. I haven't used very many of their products, but they sent me a whole haul to try out. So I'm gonna go through everything one by one, do swatches and give you my opinion. And then we'll get into the look later on in the video. I will have timestamps if you wanna switch over to a particular product, those timestamps will be down below. And let me know what you guys feel about Beatles. There are a lot of Beatles fans, so I just wanna know you guys' thoughts. So this is the first product. This is their liner in the color French White. I felt that the liner was really good. Um, the product wasn't too thick. The gel was very um, thin yet pigmented, which is perfect for a liner product. I was able to get very opaque lines and the brush is very skinny and thin, so you're able to get very detailed, fine lines if that's what you wanna do. The product wasn't running or dripping away from me, so that was great. This next product is a rhinestone and glue gel kit. There are a lot of products in here. If you're just getting started as a beginner, you don't have a lot for decoration or stones, this is pretty nice. I like that it came with these trays to kind of like organize and hold your bling while you're working. Those trays, when you put bling in there, you shake it and it will like turn the rhinestone over on its top. This is the actual adhesive gel that I got. I like that it was filled up to the top. These are the bling. We have some crystal clear and then some iridescent backless at the bottom in various sizes. Then they also gave us these um, AB stones in a bunch of different shapes. So I felt like this was a pretty generous kit. You can do a whole lot with this. And this is the tool that it came with. Unfortunately, there's not anything you can actually pick up the stone with, but it's a decent tool, it's okay. I got their square full cover nails and the full cover nails actually come with an adhesive gel if you wanna do like an appray dupe or a soft gel adhesion. So you can use the gel that it comes with. I didn't do this because I'm making press-ons, but I imagine it's probably pretty nice. Let me know. Have you guys used that gel? This is what the square shape looks like on me. I'll show you guys from the side walls as well, how it looks from the side view. The square nail was pointing down a bit and I didn't have a whole lot of apex, which is okay. I wish it was a little more flared, like a true square, but it's okay. I didn't mind it. This is the mini lamp that came with this. There's no button. I like that the cord was really long and it was a little bit flimsy. It didn't have a very secure, like heavy base, so it could fall over really easily, but I like that it was um, motion detection. Okay, so this is the first gel kit we're going to swatch. There's six different colors in here. This one is called Whispers of Love. Every gel kit that I show you comes in this pink holographic packaging. I like that everything was packaged really professionally and really safely. Everything is in these little egg carton looking things. So we're gonna just breeze through the application or the swatching. And I end up swatching them on the size zero square nails. So um, I noticed a, like kind of a theme with all the colors that I got. They're all like jelly. Some of them are more pigmented. Some of them, some of them are more clear. Some of them have glitter, but they are all basically like jelly colors and they all have this kind of like nude or pink tone. They're very pretty. The quality is amazing. I really love these. I think these would be a nice gift. I also noticed with these gels, I didn't really notice too much of a tacky layer when it came out of the lamp. It wasn't sticky. I was actually able to go on top of it with chrome powder and it worked perfectly fine without having to do a top coat step. So here are the colors from Whispers of Love. Let me know if you like this. There are a little bit of glitters in that nude shade. It's very, very fine, but they're there. 
I really like that they put a milky white in there. This is the set called Lady with Dreams. I got a very like bridal feeling from this. All of these had glitter, different types of glitter. Some of them have like really small, fine holographic. Some of them have like a mineral shimmer. They're very gorgeous. I actually ended up using one of the shades from this set to do my design today. I really like this one. Um, and the next one I'm about to swatch is the one I ended up using. And I like these because I like the whole like Y2K glittery nail bed. So I would imagine you could do a really cute French nail design with this like as the glittery nail bed, especially for press-ons. Um, I kind of prefer glittery nail beds for press-on nails. That way when you use the glue to put them on, there won't be any like mistakes showing through the glitter as much. And by the way, all the swatches I'm doing are one coat only. Love, love, love these colors. I love that they included a darker nude in there. It's beautiful. These are so gorgeous. This is like my favorite set. Let me know if you guys own this or if you wanna get this. This is the one I would definitely, 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 definitely recommend that you might not have these shades. And this is the last one called Veil of Heaven. So these were basically just jelly nudes bunch of different types of nudes something in here for everyone I love this nude right here very smooth the pigment is blended beautifully there's no chalkiness no streakiness it's that perfect milky jelly consistency that I love And those are all the shades from Veil of Heaven. As you can see in that kind of like middle to the left, that nude color has some glitter in there, but it's very, very, very fine. And let's swatch the chrome set. So I got four chromes and inside here, there are these applicators that have a brush on one side and a sponge on the other. Um, I've never seen this type of applicator before. It's really nice. I like that they have that with the brush. So we're gonna just quickly swatch this on some of these swatches I did earlier. So I really love these chromes. And like I said, I didn't have to um, put a top coat because it seems like these beetle gels don't have a tacky layer. That is really good to me. Like I really, really like that part about it. I was able to just go right in. Of course, if you want like a super, super high shine brandished um, extremely chromey chrome you would want to do a top coat but just for the purpose of swatching and seeing what the color is I just went in like this just so we can get an idea of what this chrome is looking like so these are very iridescent the first one has like a pink reflex other than that it's basically like hardly there this one that I'm swatching right now is like a unichrome or an Aurora Chrome, but it has a very gold reflex in it. This one is so pretty. I feel like this would definitely hide a lot underneath the nail if that's what you wanted to use it for, but it is the most shiny out of all of them. This is a white Chrome. I love, I really do love like the combination of Chromes that they give you in this one set. If you don't have chromes and you wanted to get into them, this would be great because you literally get every single type of chrome or at least like the major main ones. I think the only thing they were they were really missing here was like a blue chrome or like a blue reflex or a like full gold and a full silver. But if you wanna get started with like something different, this has everything. I love white chrome. It just kind of adds a little shine on top of the existing color and it has a, a pure white reflex to it, so it doesn't add any specific hue. And this last chrome is the one I end up using on my design. It's very pink, it's very pearlescent, it's so pretty. It's kind of like a purple pink, which is my preferred pink. So I was obsessed with this, so that's the one I end up using. And by the way, if you guys are interested in any of these products, they're gonna be linked on my Amazon storefront. So my Amazon link will be down below. But yeah, 
those are all the chromes. Let me know if you're feeling any of these. I love these. All right, let's get into how I made this design. I wanted to do something press on so that I could take these off and keep them and like come back to them whenever I want to wear them again. So we're gonna start off with my sized out square nails from Beatles. And this is a shade from the Lady with Dreams kit, that glittery kit. And um, I'm just gonna apply a layer of this we don't need two layers because I end up putting so much stuff on top that it kind of gives the nail full opacity by the time we're done. So I just did one layer. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is wipe off any possible tacky layer that might be there. Just for safety reasons, I don't wanna touch it, so I'm gonna cleanse the nail. Even though it's not really tacky, I'm still gonna cleanse it with some alcohol. And now I'm going to um, square off my free edge and give it a little bit of a dip. The nails are not as square as I would like, as I said earlier. They're, they're kind of like a coffin to me almost. So I'm not gonna go too crazy with this free edge right now. I don't wanna make them extra short. I don't wanna ruin the squareness of them. So I'm just very, very subtly dipping down and creating a C curve from the top view. And this bit is from Eno. All the miscellaneous items that I'm using in this video, I will have them linked. Um, I will have like my charms that I used, my, my rings, I got some new rings, and I'm gonna have those linked. I feel like it's been a long time since I've talked to y'all in a video. Um, I got these rings from a custom or like an independent ring maker. She's from India and she's on Etsy. And I contacted her because I was trying to find someone to make me these rings that I wanted in silver. And she was like, yeah, I can definitely do that for you. So she made them and they are so beautiful. They have like opals, I'm obsessed with opals. She put pink and blue rhinestone, or like, I don't know, what, what kind of stones are these? I think they're Swarovski, but they're really nice quality stones and sterling silver. And she put like a really big um, pink Australian opal in there. So I'll have it linked. I have a code for you guys too for her store because I told her I'll be wearing it in my nail videos. And yeah, so if you want the exact same rings, you can definitely get them and get a discount. It'll be linked. So I wanted to do some swirly swirls. This is very trendy right now on Instagram. I'm seeing lots of texture and swirlies on Insta. And I wanted to kind of give these kind of like a monster girl vibe, kind of like think about tentacles or like flesh or like demonic skin, I guess. I don't know. I was just trying to go for something textured and monstery or different or abstract. So I'm gonna use the actual bling gel that they sent me. I'm not gonna, I am gonna use it for bling later on, but I'm gonna use it to create this texture first. So I'm using the dotting tool and I'm picking up a ball of this gel and I'm carefully gliding it down the nail in the direction I want it to go. It's a pretty stiff gel, but it still flows. So when you're done, you want to flash care for 10 seconds in your big lamp before you move on to the next finger. And then when you're done, you wanna just cure them all. The thing I noticed with this is that you don't have to do a really like perfect, amazing job. At least if you're like recreating this design, at least you don't have to make it like super perfect because by the time I put the chrome on and all the bling, it looks amazing. You'll notice as I'm working, I'm leaving like gaps of space open and that's because I'm just trying to like create space for when I come in with my big charms later.
got your heart set, I don't wanna jump half hearted. Gotta get your feet wet, gotta give what you get. I don't wanna finish where we started. Like the river flowing, tell me where we're going. Take me to a place that's brand new. Every second growing, time feels like it's so well with you. And if you wanna go follow, I won't let you go. No, 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 Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna use that purple lavender type of chrome and just go on top of the entire nail and burnish this into the entire surface of the nail. I didn't have to top coat either at this point, so it seems like the rhinestone gel does not have a super tacky layer either. So that was really convenient. You just wanna get into all the corners as best as possible because this lavender chrome is very um, sheer it's not super obvious if you have any like missing parts or gaps or anything it's very forgiving so the nail definitely comes to life with this chrome i think the swirls and chrome just really go together they make each other pop really well Okay, so I want to seal in my chrome, so I'm using a top coat that I got from like Timu or somewhere. It's kind of just like one of those throwaways that you don't care about, didn't spend too much money on this top coat. And when you're top coating chrome, it's, you know, you can kind of get chrome back into your bottle. So that's why I chose this one, this top coat I didn't really care too much about. And I'm really getting into all of the grooves and I'm kind of like dragging off any excess gel so that we can maintain like the structure and it doesn't get lost with a whole bunch of gel. for 
Okay, so at this point, I'm just gonna be putting on all my charms. I'm gonna start with my big charms. I got this eyeball charm from AliExpress. You'll notice in the final product that one of the eyeballs is like sideways, and it's because the charm literally has like, um, it has like a C curve built into the back of the charm to help it lay flat on the nail. So when I laid the other charm on my other hand flat, the eyeball was turned to the side. So it wasn't a lot I could do about it. I didn't really care too much, but I feel like I should just mention that. I also have a tiara here because I was just thinking, how can I make this a little more girly? So I was thinking like princess demon. So we go ahead and put just a little, you know, crown right here with the little pearl on it. So cute. And then I'm gonna put a star on the thumb and then I'm just gonna freak out the rest of the set with some silver cabochons. Those are also from AliExpress. And then I'm gonna use the silver rhinestone, um, the crystal clear rhinestone flat backs from Beatles.
This is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me your feedback down below. Let me know what kind of looks you want to see me do for the spooky season. I think I'm going to upload like non-stop spooky designs until Halloween comes because I just want to really get in there and do a bunch of different designs. Message me down below in the comment section or you can actually contact me on threads if you want to like directly reach out and let me know that there's like a design that you want me to recreate this season. Whatever way you want to contact me is fine. I really love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful if you've been considering any one of these products. Remember that my link will be down below. I have a whole Amazon storefront where I set up like a little collection so you can just like click the collection go through the list and everything will be organized there for you thank you so much to beetles for sending me these products for my honest review and i love you so much have a good day see you next time bye Sunday, Sunday, Sunday.